name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, all about the things that you want to know about where you want to work, live, eat, and play. And even the today's market report for the month of March 2020. So let's get on those numbers right now. Now this information I have gathered is from the InfoSparks, which is a subdivision of the MLS. Now the thing you have to remember here is the first week of March is when all this crap started. So homes already in escrow finished up for the next two weeks, three weeks. Those were already in progress. So we won't get the true numbers as to how bad this is really affecting us right now until the next numbers come out, okay? So these are for the of March 2020. So new listings in the month, in the month of March, there was 5,952 compared to 8,067 that there were last year at this point. So that makes a difference of 26.1% Now, active listings for the month of March, there were 11,389 added. But compare that to the 16,598 that there were last year, that puts that one down 31.04%. Ending deals. At this point, they're at the end of March, there was 2,608 pending deals compared to the 5,741 that there were last year at that point, making that a difference of, of a whopping 53.5% negative. Now, closed units for the month of March, there were 4,777. Now compare that to last year, 2019, when there were 4,910. So right there, we don't have too much of a difference, but like I said, homes that started in the month of February already, they finished up in the month of March while this all started. So the true numbers won't come out until next report. So this is pretty cool stat right here. This is the total sales price. Now, for LA County this year in 2020 for March, it was at $660,000 compared to last year at 2019 when it was at $615,200. That's gone up 7.3%. So what does that tell you about home prices when you have less listings, less active on the market, less closed sales, less closed pendings, but yet the sales price has gone up. Home prices have still increased last year. Now days on the market, we're looking at 15 compared to last year at 25. So things, when they do hit the market, they're going quick. So our inventory right now, we're looking at about a two to two and a half month supply compared to last year when we had about a three, three and a half month supply. So it's still in the favor of the seller. Again, I hope you found this useful. I am a realtor here in the Long Beach area. If this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because I do put out videos every single week all about Long Beach, all about the surrounding cities, all about the things that you want to know about. That's all for... Oh, I shouldn't have had those artichokes. We'll eat the poppers.